what's going on all of you Total War fans out there? It's me, Clutch McGee here, and today we're returning Total War Rome 2. Or is it? Technically yes, uh, but today I'm going to be playing through a Total Conversion mod, which essentially uh, turns it back into Rome 1. <laughs> I uh, wrote Total War, but sorry, Rome Total War is my favourite Total War game ever made. Uh, I, I, I've, I've loved it since it came out in, in, in 2004, so 16 years ago. Oh god, i really showing my age. Uh, but it just doesn't run very well on modern systems, especially if I wanted to record it, which I do enjoy doing. It slows down to about 5 frames a second when I use OBS, but hopefully now we can get a more authentic Rome 1 experience in Rome 2. Uh, as we all know, Rome 2 had flaws? On release uh, I, I really miss the original Rome so we're gonna just jump on in as you can see what they've done uh, is changed it so the three Roman families and the Senate of the people of Rome are back so you can pick from the Julii the Brutii or the Scipii now I always generally go for the house of Brutii the true sons of Rome because I green is my favorite color but there we have uh, all of the original factions are back. You've even got, ooh, the boy rebels. And there are rebel factions in the game. Then you have Macedon is, is all kind of back. So not all of these have been changed over. You, you'll see when we actually get onto the map, actually. On the Steam Workshop, um, this, is, this is a message for the editor. But there's a picture uh, that will be on your screens now. And as you can see, it changes the map. You've got the Greek city-states in there, Carthage. You've got rebel territories all across the map. Uh, you have the Germanic tribes, so not all the all the starting positions are a bit different. So it's not exactly how it was, but it's it's definitely a, a really good rendition. All of the original units have also been added in. So if you wanted uh, to get those uh, assassin units, I forget what the actual name is. You can as Rome. <laughs> I wonder if you can get flaming pigs. I would like the flaming pigs. But also on screen now, we'll, panning down, we'll show all of the changes. So if you want to read it, I'll, I'll leave a link to the mod in the description as well. So, But we're just going to jump on in as the Brutii. eye. Boom. And uh, I think the game is balanced for very hard. So we'll see if I actually manage to... I, I don't usually play games on harder than hard. Hard is usually my default difficulty for Total War games. I find normal too much of a ruffle stomp and legendary. I just don't enjoy it. Hard is generally the baseline for me. Oh! And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's try and get, I don't know, 3,000 likes for the return of Total War. Uh, but here we have it. The House of Brutii. And if we see, there we have the Julii back in their original colours. Uh, we have the Scipii. We have Oloma uh, at the SPQR. And then we have the Brutii. I think this is in... Uh, it's definitely not its final release. At least I hope it isn't, because there are still some things to fix. Like, you don't start with an army, but... We'll start recruiting some Hastati and some Equites. And I think we can only recruit six in one turn. The family tree, I don't really know if he's going to work too well. We've only got Lucius Brutus and no sons. So, can I get married? Or does my guy get married automatically? I guess we'll find out. But he's 45, so I hope I don't run out of people to... Oh dear. And we're technically an emperor, which doesn't make sense. Now on the diplomacy, we begin at war with Macedon, so that's another change. But here you have the Greek city-states, which is kind of cool. Each city-state is kind of split all across the map. What can they do? I don't think they can give you quests or anything. Or missions, like they would have been able to do before. The House of Scipii starts with Corsica, which I think is a bit different too. Oh well. It's been a while since I've covered a total war game, so I thought it would be quite nice to sh do a bit of a playthrough of one, you know? I could just raise a new army. Uh, I'll recruit a fair number of troops. I run out of money. Why can't there be a magic money tree? It there seems to be that your merchants should not be welcomed into our territory. Bruh. All right, so I'm just going to try and sail over to Apollonia and have a giggle. Oh, Gaul's gone to war with the rebels. Yeah, the rebels do hold a lot of territories to begin with, as they did in the original Rome. So it maketh sense. Now I could have done a naval attack, but I'm just going to do a land attack. Oh. It looks like we have a good chance of winning, but for the sake of showing off the units, I will fight this one. So we can see the changes. Okay, so uh, here we have it. The units look pretty much the same, but they've been reskinned to, you know, have green. So they're all green. A green legion. Which I really like. Okay, so let's charge the Peltests. In we go. Nice little charge. And there you can see Macedon's changed back to their original colours too. 
I prefer this new colour scheme. Well, the old colour scheme. The 2004 colour scheme. Maybe I should go back to what I was wearing in 2004. What was I wearing in 2000? Really, really, really baggy jeans. I, I had a grunger phase. <laughs> if any of you remember what a grunger was. Oh boy, that was not a good look. Alright, so we mopped up them quite quickly. Uh, let's see what my Hastati get up to. Uh, as you can see, they're all in phalanx now. This is what the hoplites all do. They, they, they have phalanx formation. But we'll just use our uh, pillum, kill a few of them. But yeah, I think they've actually changed the militia hoplites as well, so they're back to how they look. That is cool. Okay, well, they're, they're, they're already crumbling under the weight of me. This was barely a fight, Mr. Mark Strong. Oh, I'm covering up the radar. Where can I put my face? I think this is perfect. All right, so where's the, where's the last unit? Let's try and find them. You don't need to look at the game. I am all you need to see. This beautiful, beautiful 31-year-old man with a goatee. Levy Pikeman will get crushed. There we go. End the battle. Oh my god. Sorry, I have actually forgot I left that on. Bruh. <gasps> War dogs are back. Were they in there before? I think they probably were. But we'll get some Princopes and Triari. Yay. I've run out of money again. Feck. Very hard. Just, just, really, just, just screws my economy. I not that I already have an economy. Uh, Turn times go a lot quicker though when there's only about like 20 old factions now across the whole map. Oh wow, that's actually not a lot, is it? No, Alex. Because that's what the original one was like. Man, I swear I'm not always this dense. It's been a long year. I think I think everyone can say that comfortably. Of course there's disease. Alright, well let's try and take Larissa with our little current force. We can't see no spy information available. Wait, what? So the Julii controlled that, but they didn't bother taking out that. But now they've got to worry about... The Skippy I doing much? No. It's just me. Yeah, boy. Man, I'm a man, I'm a man. Oh, so we're still getting missions, but then I think you... Yeah, with Rome 2, you get missions anyway, right? I, I really do forget. Um, I'm just going to destroy them. I don't really know why they're not really recruiting an army. So, that's weird. But I might as well go ham. Oh, they do have an army in Pella, though, so we'll have a bit of a... a bit of a, Or is that a fleet? If they just built ships... They really don't like me here, but that's own mainly because of conquest. Can I get them on side? I'm concerned though that this mod might just be an easy ruffle stomp. Yeesh, unless they rebel. There's no way I can stop them rebelling. So it's almost tempting to attack Pella now, but I don't really I don't really have the troops. I just have so many memories of the original Rome. And the fellow that will be editing this is the person that got me into the Total War series, so you really have him to thank for telling me that he brought Rhodes to Britain one day and I was just gobsmacked when I when I heard about that in the uh, in the schoolyard, as it were. Alright, well back we go. We'll deal a blow to the rebel scum. Oh I can get Triari. Oh, I can't afford them. Oh there we go. Triari! And honor. Oh, piss ants. Come on. No, face me. Rebel cavalry, rebel spears, and rebel slingers, and ethologies. All right. I will fight you on the battlefield. I think I might win, though. I don't have any missile troops. I still can't recruit those. Regrets. I've got a few. So there's the Triarii, and then we have the Princopes. I think they, they do look the same as the as, as normal Rome 2. It's just it's just a texture pack, really. The might of the Roman legion should be able to... Oh, no, it wasn't really a Roman... Was it a legion? No, it was pre-marian reform it was still a legion our hidden units have been discovered oh bollocks oh dear oh the inventory stood though <laughs> and now you will be crushed we took their charge yeah we're doing okay i reckon we'll win this easy cavalry's already shaken not stirred the hastati are holding the line we'll send the prinkapes in to help prinkapes principes whatever you want to call them okay mopped up there I think Rome might be slightly OP. Where's my general? Oh. Heh. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the amount of rebel bodies compared to Roman, it's it's substantially more rebels. <laughs> rebel scam. Now we'll surround their general and wipe him out. The only way to kill... Uh, only way to do with rebels. Kill them all. And then I think I'll march around to Pella. Ah, uh, there we have little old Sparta. I think that Sparta in Rome 2 are one of the worst factions. Argue with me. Because I'm tempted to make a video on it. Because I just find them boring. They're really boring to play as. Feel free to try and change my mind, but... I don't think you will. We might be able to take Pella pretty easily. That would be embarrassing for them. 
Oh, and mercenaries are uh, in as what they used to be. So I've got some mercenary hoplites. It's like the Julii are expanding quite a lot. Skippy, I still not. Your foolishness has awoken the might and anger of the Excuse me? legions. The Skippy, I declared war on me. Are you having a giraffe game? What the actual? F I wonder if a Macedon would like some peace for the for, next uh, few minutes. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Skippy, I have declared war on me in the first few turns. Well, this will be a rather short campaign video, won't it? <laughs> yeah, I only have five. Uh, that's not a good garrison. Imagine doing that. Betraying your allies in the first few turns. Never like the Skippy Eye. And then the Julie Eye and the SPQR are just letting it happen. I thought we had an alliance. I lost my capital. I mean, I'm going to try and take it back, but I, d I need time. Oh, what does this guy want? I punish him himself, defacing the Temple of Jupiter. Oh, kill him. And uh, now I can only recruit him. Uh, sad noises. Feck me sideways. Are they about to... Uh, come on. Greetings, we're about to take back our territory. Giggity giggity. Oh, we're going to have a slave revolt in Macedonia. Everything's going tickety, but I can take my capital back. <laughs> now they're trying to sail over here. Okay, this is my stronghold, Apollonia. You want to start something? Bling it on, beesh. Breaking a man is easy. Breaking his spirit. Less so. I'm sorry, they actually think they can win this. You pitiful little band. Hold up. So... <laughs> Only their general has managed to land. So if I just go after Sector Scipio with my cavalry, take him out before anyone else, then they won't have a general. Okay, okay, okay. This could go a lot better for me than originally. I'd anticipated. Because that'll take them a while to get here. Oh, hi. Hi, Boogaloo. Whoa, they lost a lot in that charge. I was hoping the general's bodyguard would be a bit more squishy. Oh, no, they are going down now. The enemy general is dead. Grand! Alright, they're coming to land, but they're all Hastati, so my troops should be better than theirs. So I'm going to bring the cavalry around here and then plonk into the back of them. Um, my units here, I think, are doing an okay job at hemming them in, and then we just have those to deal with, which I think will be okay if I can just take the rest out. A nice ripple amongst the ranks there. It appears they might be trying to flee into the sea, in which case they just get absolutely annihilated. And they're beginning to become shaken. It's just the mercenary Samnite spearmen that are holding. The rest are shaken and <laughs> getting a bit screwed. The men Blammo. Are yeah. That was always going to be a bit of a problem. We should still be able to win this. Pretty easily. <laughs> just the way they run. Decisive. Still bugs me that the Scipio are already declaring war on me. Killing Romans, but it has to be done. Traitorous bastards. Look at look at Macedon just still like spreading like a plague. Although that's what I was trying to do myself, right? So this is a problem. The slaves. <laughs> They're now just going to run amok. Oh man, but I think it's more important to destroy the Skippy Eye now. You wankers, I will get you. I will get you good. Oh, they're actually sallying out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Skippy Eye. The AI is dumb. <laughs> All right, so this is my small Italian-based army. Good job I actually decided to get one. But I, I think we'll be able to beat their troops that have been sallying out. Oh, they do have missiles. That's a problem. I'll also enter an attack command. That will drive them back. Then I can go around and do the old uh, flankeroo. Or oh, they're still running away. Silly velites. And then it's just a foregone conclusion at this point. I am the world's best Total War player if you weren't aware. So these kind of battles, you know, pose no kind of threat to me, you know. <laughs> then they try to run, but they can't run at this point Our now. General is under attack. They know they're doomed. Um, these guys are just <laughs> going like one to one here. Yeah, they're just going to kill each other. Then we'll just kill any that remain. Jobs are good and Well, Brundesium's taken back, at least. The slaves are taking a lot of attrition. I, I just need to fix this situation, really. Alright, so the state of the map is this. I control a nice chunk. 
the Julii controls this chunk, and now the Scipii have been reduced in power. And I can relax a little bit. <laughs> I think that's where I'll leave it for this particular playthrough, as I kind of solved my problems, except for the Slave Revolt. I didn't solve that, but, you know, th th whatever. They can have their freedom if they want. Overall, uh, I think the mod is very good for nostalgia. And let's take a, just a couple of looks on, look at other points on the map, um, just so we can kind of see... Uh, then we have a faction like Spain that control like their whole peninsula, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and I imagine you'd be going up against Carthage uh, to begin with. Um, I imagine Carthage would be quite fun to play with, play as, play with. And then of course you, oh, Massalia are their own. They're Massalian rebels. That's what they were in the base game, right? Massalia wasn't its own faction. No. Okay. Cool. Well, look, I would, I would, I would heartily recommend giving this mod a try. There are, of course, it's issues uh but yeah I, overall it, it's it's a nostalgia trip if you if there are any other mods that i should give a try to roam to let me know but for now i had a great time with the brutti eye and i hope you enjoyed watching comment like subscribe toodaloo for now many thanks to onion duck seth cutter sturbic maximilian foreman wyatt green sakurai mosby tad house copy was taken matt zoov vash warren p george dave d y the don valhalla halls yeah boy ryan cock Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous fan supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!